Hello, welcome. Oh my goodness. I did it. It's 7 p.m. and I'm right on time. I know there was a couple times where I was like 7.04, 7.10, but whew, I am so happy to be here. First and foremost, I want to shout out my friend who is sending me some dolls. We're working out the price, but I am getting five more dolls and I'm so, so excited. Cosmodi is one of them. Let me, and hello, Violetta, my dear. You guys need to check out Violetta's um, Monster High doll collection. If you like Monster High dolls, there is a, what is your TikTok again? A TikTok account with some Monster High doll content that you have to see. Hello, Pearl of KK. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you guys. So somebody a friend, a pull-up friend is gifting me slash selling to me, but for such an amazing price, uh, Cosmodi and four more others. Oh my gosh. I cannot remember what they are. Mm, where is the list? Where is the email? Okay. That'll just have to be a surprise because I cannot find the rest of the email thread. But we just talked about this literally in the last, like, 48 hours. To cross you the original euphoria. Oh, thank you. Who is, is that Solana? Who is that? I'm like, I have a friend who I feel like that would be her handle. Sorry, I just scarfed down some food. So I managed to, like, stack some of the boxes here. And then, so I basically had been collecting these boxes over the course of, I don't know, four months, five months, because some of them were pre-orders. And long story short, I'll just like, you're going to see some junky things here. Sorry. But this is like, there's a light box overhead here. And then this is like the light box bars. But basically this entire wall, um, my view, two of my viewers here already know about this story. But long story short, this entire wall was filled with crystals, crystal stock that I had bought over the course of the last four years because you buy an order and then sometimes not everything sells right away. And so you have stock on hand, right? And I basically just like cleared it all out. I like liquidated it. Some of the things I might've lost money on, some of the things I definitely profited on, thank goodness. Some of the things I broke even. Um, it was kind of just like a hobby that turned into my full-time job when COVID hit and I couldn't dance at clubs. I couldn't teach dance. And then I came across pull-up dolls and then I just went absolutely doll psycho and I like cleared out my stock and I started this YouTube channel and I have been collecting these boxes in this epic order and I was like holding on to it and I was going to open it for my birthday which is in November but my son has a Taiyang doll that lives in my doll room MJ and he actually really wants to change the wig so it is good that I'm opening this because the wigs are also in here so let's just get right to it and yeah, I got this shirt, by the way, from Blue Notes. It's a guy shirt, which I actually prefer guy t-shirts because they're they're long. Like the girl t-shirts are short and they're not, I don't know, I guess if you're wearing like it more fitted, but if you're going to wear something a little bit more relaxed, I think longer is better. I know. <laughs> Also, 22 pull-ups living in a box, they need to be freed. Isn't that the truth? They do need to be freed. They have been waiting, but I also didn't really have the room to display them. And I have the room now to display them, even in their boxes, for them to like be on shelves and not stacked on top of each other. So even if they live in their boxes still, they cannot be living in cardboard boxes. So let's just let's just randomly start here with this box right here. I don't even know. And some of these dolls were in the pull-up style lost treasure section, which, you know, I was just on that, like, I was fiending like an addict, just going to pull-up style every single night, and then just one faithful night. Thanks, it's a wig, and it's actually from um, AliExpress, and it was only 24 bucks. And my hair is in such, is honestly not good. It's so thin and it's, 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 it's not doing well. So, um, I think I'm going to be like rocking the wigs from now on because it's kind of hard to get ready and to have time to get ready. 
<gasps> Ooh, I didn't procrastinate and finally and refilmed that fairy cloak. Ooh, yay. I want to see that. And I also would love to see more people using pull up dolls and like little skits on TikTok. Because I always see rainbow high dolls doing skits. You never really see pull up dolls doing skits. And I would really, really love to see that. But fairy pull up, I need to see that. Okay. Wow. So these are the colors. Does anyone, does, can anyone guess what these might even be? Da, da, da. <laughs> do, 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 Oh my goodness. Thank you, by the way, universe, so much for the crystals to fund the dolls and the artists who put the dolls together and for breathing in this present moment for this epic. This is my biggest doll unboxing order yet. Yes. Nailed it. So since you guessed the first one. And so how are we saying this? Carries, Carries, Ceres, Les something. Pretty French name. I'm pretty sure that pink one is. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Holy Hannah. I got to show you these eyes right now. We need to turn down this light. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I find the light just like drowns drowns out. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but the eye chips have blue sparkle in them. I don't know if I should turn it up or down, but yeah, wow, amazing. Now the skulls and oh, it's like a it's like a heavier lace fabric. I have not seen that before. That's absolutely gorgeous. I am like not liking this glare up here on the doll boxes. I'm just gonna tilt down a bit and I think you'll be able to see a little bit more. There we go. There we go. I think that's better. So you can see a little bit more of the actual fabric. The fabric makes a huge difference I find in a doll's outfit. I was unboxing some like vintage 80s Barbies and the fabric is just not the greatest. Oh, yay. We're twinning. Yeah, man. I saw those pictures on pullupsandjunk.com. So yeah, very quickly, there's um, gray, baby blue, and then the eye chips are baby blue with glitter inside of them. Complete smoky eye, totally pale, uh, muted, mauve, purpley lip color, and then, yeah, she's got her crazy cape that looks like it has some like lace sparkle detail. And then she's got her, oh, she's perfect for Halloween. What is that called again? A scythe? Is that what that's called? A scythe, right? So she's, yeah, she's giving me Grim Reaper. And yeah, oh, hey, I shouted you out at the beginning. I wasn't sure if you were um, here or not, but I am like, so, so grateful. I'm not going to cry, but I did cry last week. It's in one of my videos. You'll see. I do get very emotional. I am a double water sign. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Again, thank you so, so much. I, I just don't even, I'm going to have to really conjure up, uh, you know, what crystals I want to send you. And Dylan, you are my guardian angel. I was actually feeling like super, super anxious. Let's get some other, other dolls out here. Yeah, I really do like how the size she comes with is like plush. Oh, it's plush, not fully plastic. What? I cannot wait to see that. Oh, I'm so happy about this one. Oh my gosh. And the color of the box is so pretty. I'm just like a brown soul too. Like I love pastels, I love black, but I just love how, oh. Okay, ASMR, but maybe not the good sound in time. Hold on. I think I need to pull these two out at the same time. Oh my gosh, how I'm doing this is kind of cringe. Okay, desolé, please, I'm sorry. And friends, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're good, they're safe. But yeah, I was just really feeling a type of way, like I don't have um, really any more orders coming in, which is really weird. I was so used to like she was in the lost treasure section 
um, a pull of style. And yeah, I actually just wanted her, but then I was like, oh, I'm going to pay for shipping. So I may as well get I may as well get two more because I know like four can fit in the box. So at the time when I ordered these three, I was like, okay, I can only afford the three. I was like, I checked my Etsy account. I was like, okay, there's enough money in my Etsy account for my bills and for three dolls. Thank goodness. So yeah, the Crystal Hustle was very, very profitable. I will just be completely honest with that. I'm very, very grateful that it was because yeah, I, I worked so hard to build that Instagram account and I was I was really on my phone like like 16 hours out of the day. Really? Was your very first polyp doll? Sakumiku? Oh, that is so special. So here we are, both rocking our pink. Oh my gosh, I just love this box. She is total Anahata chakra vibes. The color of the heart chakra is green, but then the color of unconditional self-love is pink, rose quartz. So yeah, her box is just emanating that self-love. And then she's got her little headphones with her mic because she's a vocaloid. So yes, this is the um, one doll though that, well, I can't say it was the one doll that I'm the most excited to see in this box, but yeah, Ververica, oh my gosh. I just, I want to cuddle this doll. I literally, it looks like a plushie and she looks like something out of Grimm's fairy tale. That's what I actually really love about some of the European uh, pull-up doll collectors on Instagram. And I did see like this amazing outfit on Etsy that I really want to buy. And it's, it's just this very traditional looking, mm, I don't know, I want to say not 18th century, but I want to say like, you know, olden times, medieval times, not very good with history, but it's just these traditional European looking garments, these little aprons, these dresses I'm so in love with. And her face up is so cute. It's got little freckles. So yeah, she's, um, I said it because I'm like, she's totally looking very just like a little animal too. Like she's like, she could, you know, easily transform into an animal, a little bear or a squirrel. Because oh, she has a squirrel, right? Oh yeah, yeah, there's squirrels everywhere. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I even ordered her. I can't even, like this was months ago that this, that I placed this order. Well, I knew, I knew, I think in the back of my mind, but my mind's been totally inundated with TikTok and YouTube. Let me tell you, yeah, she's adorable. Um, it's really quite a challenge <laughs> to get views on these platforms, but um, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm putting in a little bit of work every single day and, and balancing um, my parenting as well as best as I can. So yeah, I'm loving her very, very pale face and um, the freckles. And she doesn't have a ton of like blushing, but she does have a little bit of blushing across her nose. And she just got very, very basic, uh, clean eye chips. And then, yeah, she's got this adorable little basket and that is just great for photography. So I also kind of updated my um, Instagram page. I'm trying to be a lot more mindful about how I post on Instagram because I feel like Instagram is kind of more of this artistic platform for, for photos. And um, I want to put an inst a pull it doll Instagram account out that, that people can really enjoy. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Viverka should be displayed with the real Akuma. Oh, doll room styling 101. And you know what? I just, I, I love the aesthetic that I see on TikTok and Instagram of uh, girls, persons collecting like solely pink stuff because it's just epic. But I love browns and oranges and yeah, I, I have a soft spot. I really have a soft spot for brown. Um, our, our living room used to be themed super 70s and uh, there was a lot of browns and oranges in there. Okay. So, box numero de. Okay, that go. Allez-y, let's go. Oh 
my goodness. Oh my goodness. So yeah, shout out to Pull Up Style because um, for the Canadian customer, it is really, oh, yay! Just the most convenient place. I have to just pull all three of these out or at least two of them out at the same time. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. <gasps> my friend actually sent me her when she was first released, like a picture of her. And I was like, yeah, I gotta have this doll. So she is the calico version. And my girlfriend actually has the original version, which is so, so cute. But I love mocha dolls. I'm Asian, so. I feel like I have a connection to the mocha dolls and oh my goodness. I, I showed you guys first, but what? Oh my gosh. There's something about pink lips and pink blush on the mocha dolls. That is so, so lovely. And she's got a little bit of gold on the inner corner of her eye as well. But yeah, they've got this like nightgown gear, um, the original Nana. Doll, Nana Chan, Nana Chan. Right, the OG one is like very clean, um, face up, very simple, but it's also a really nice aesthetic with my girlfriend's dolls because she has like all pink themed and baby blues pastel colors. So I don't think brown really matches with her aesthetic, but as a whole, just like with her streaks of she's got dark brown streaks in her hair as a whole it's like yeah very very lively very very lively oh my goodness so i'm just gonna get a little train going here this room is actually not super big so i've been getting quite creative with the space all right Merori, the blue version tear version so she's got the bears in her eye chips. So, so cute. She's definitely giving me like gothic uwu vibes. Uwu. I actually didn't even know what this word was. So long story short, let me show you guys also. Oh, we didn't put um, the last doll in this box and I will just hold these dolls, these dolls up for you to see. Oh, Misa Chan. I just call her Misa because she just looks like Misa Mane, doesn't she? I mean, she's totally got the red lips, the blonde hair. She's she's Misa Misa from Death Note. Not maybe the exact outfit. I don't know if Misa exactly had this outfit, but she had a similar style. And yeah, I was so excited when I saw her. I really love like these punky goth dolls, like Pull Up Known. <laughs> right? She's just Misa Misa. So yeah, the other day, my 10 year old was like, yeah, so uwu, it's like when you like take the letter U and then you take the W and then the letter U. And if you type that all out, then it like looks like, like this cute cat thing. And it's, it's like a cute cat. But me and my friends, when we say it, it you know, they mean like there was something suspicious is going to happen. So when somebody says uwu, then um, somebody's like, oh, that's sus. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> At 31, I'm like, I don't even, yeah, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for educating me. But oh my gosh, I'm looking at the pictures on the back just because the stock photos are so brilliant. And then, yeah, like there's the glare of the light box. But if I position it a certain way, oh, there we go. This is the angle. This is the angle right here. Right? I, and that must be just a thing that him and his, like, friends came up with. And they're like, ooh, ooh. And then it means something suspect. Suspect. Right? I, I, like, I, I thought it meant, I meant, to me, it means, like, cute. Cute. But I don't know. It, it, it sounds cute. It looks cute. So this is the angle that I got to show the dolls at. I just figured it out. Just a little bit at, like, a 45. Oh, my gosh. I didn't really ever notice that paint splatter on the skirt, and I don't know if I'm a super big fan of that. 
Um, I almost kind of feel the same way about like the gears on the skirt on my um, Alice and Steampunk world. I get it. It's for like, it's, it's, it's a, it's a print. It's, it's style, it's fashion, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, I feel like once you hit your twenties, you know, you still think you're young, but then well, it's a degenerative process. And that is why we must try and do some deep breathing and some stretching to reverse that degenerative process of aging. But I think the slang and social media for the most part is just, yeah, it's uh, hard to keep up with. Oh, I cannot wait to see her hoodie and her belt, her backpack. And she also has a spiky collar and she also has an eye patch. She is totally Known's rival. These two are rivals 100%. Also, I need to talk about her lips just for a hot minute here. Do you guys see how the lips are painted? The bottom lip is like so luscious. And then the, the like shape of the lip on, at the philatrum. And then she almost has like this little like joker smile. It's, it's giving me like Korean makeup vibes, but like not. So I tried to do that a little bit. My makeup was done this morning. So now it's like looking a little ratchet, but I've, I've been seeing like, you know, the smudging to make your, this part look kind of bigger. And I'm obsessed with that. I'm like, yes, let's, I want to try that. I'm, I'm going to try that. But I don't really know how to apply makeup onto my own face. So that is like a whole nother project that I really want to get after. Okay, so there's just like one more small box and then there's two big boxes. So gosh, this feels heavy. What's in, what's in this? I'm gonna turn this up again. Here we go, here we go. Ah, uh, white with the spout. Oh, yes. Or even like little, I know she's supposed to be kind of like goth, but like, what about little hearts like what is it about the paint splatter like is it supposed to be i'm just not understanding that because she's got the bears and then what is the inspiration behind the the paint splatter i want to talk about i want to know i want to call i want to ask my friend who speaks japanese who by the way i'm shouting him out his shop is Milky Way Japan. I'm going to write it in the description of this video. He sells plushies, figures, and they're 100% authentic straight from Japan. He's got an awesome toy store. And that is where I actually got all of my Galarian ponytails was from this shop. But yeah, I want to ask him to call up Trevas or just go into the store and be like, hey, so what's the deal with the paint splatter on Marori tier version pull up doll. <laughs> okay. Duh. The logo has some paint. Okay. Okay. Uh, artsy. It's an artsy aspect of their logo. All right. All right. You got to brand it, right? If you designed it, you got to put your, your signature on it. Um, but maybe like a cool bag that has some paint splatter, like not the actual skirt. But no, it's cool. It's 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 edgy, right? Like we would call that um, street style. When I worked at Aritzia, we had all these different styles in the shop, like street style, casual, business attire. And we had all these um, in-house brands that were by designers on the, on the team of the company that would make all sorts of different clothes. And that's how they kind of cornered the market on like medium priced high fashion was because they had so many different kinds of fashion. And this business is crazy. They basically grew from, you know, one little area in a department store, kind of like a Macy's in one city to like, now they have a huge flagship store in New York. Okay, so wigs, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So. This wig is, um, these are all Lutz wigs from Pull Up Style. And this one is really quite pretty. I will pull it out quick. 
Yeah, they only have one in like New York. They have a bunch in the States, but I don't think they're actually even in California yet, which is shocking to me. So I fell in love with the orange color of this wig. It's um, basically got like this wave and it's very poofy. It's almost kind of like this wig, but more waves and more volume, voluminous, Vol voluminous, Vol volume, volume. I'm gonna just uh <laughs> this is where Violet might uh help me with my pronunciations because <laughs> they help me with my pronunciations okay um so there's that wig and then here is a white wig it's just it's got a little curl at the end and I wanted to see how it would look with one of my pale dolls maybe my pull up pachaco that I uh painted so here is that wig. These wigs honestly are such good quality and I think that they're very fairly priced. Um, and I have bought some wigs for a uh, more, of, like for a better price on AliExpress with equal to that of the quality. So it's kind of a trial and error. Um, any wigs that I bought, I think in my videos I put the links below and as long as you got the size right my rule of thumb with aliexpress is um if there are pictures and reviews then it's all good to go so this is the same color wig as that one but it's just long and then a straight across cut east yeah i think more on the east side of aritzia and they have gorgeous interior design in their stores and they always play like such trending music. I did dedicate uh, a good five years of my life to Aritzia. So here are the bullet uh, make it own uh, kits. Now you can't really see the tone too well, but I will show you quickly. This is a natural and on the back, it just shows like how to um, assemble the head. This is also, this is a pale. So yeah, on camera, it, it, they look kind of the same. I think I got one mocha. There she is. So a little bit darker. And, and you saw um, calico version of Nana Chan is a mocha skin and a tan. So I got one of each. Oh, right. I remember I was going to do them all at the same time because the spraying is what really takes up a majority of the time. And I'm, if I'm going to spray one, I may as well spray four and then have them done at the same time. So I already have known, but I bought a second one because I don't want to handle the one known that I have. And I really want to restyle her because look at her face up. She is just too cool. The pink, the piercing. I got piercing there too. Well, mine goes straight through the lip. This one is just like through um, the bottom. And then she has like all these ear piercings. And I had never seen that before. But yeah, I want to see how she looks. And then she's got like the ombre eyelid. You can see in the back photo. Right here. And I want to see how she'll look with like a platinum white wig, maybe a pink wig. I just really want to see her restyle in a bunch of different ways. And I found that this doll was great value because the plushie was really good quality and the strawberry hoodie is epic. Oh, yeah. So I got one over here. I got a pale kit that uh, people on Insta were hunting for a pale one. But yeah, I think it is sold out. I'm just like talking and then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't even know, I'm literally speechless, I just like, I need to meditate on this moment right here. Did you ever come across this feeling where you look at a doll and you just like all of your childhood dreams literally come true in that exact moment? I remember 
running home from school to catch Sailor Moon and watching a little bit. My girlfriend did this too, actually. Um, you know, you watch like some of it in the morning time because it would air twice on cable TV. And I think every young girl that watches a magical girl anime can say that the first time you watch a magical girl anime, it just touches your soul in such a powerful way. I, I, I just can't even, it, it, there are no words. And then to have it in this like figure in this doll form, I am, I'm shocked. Don't lose. <sighs> yeah. One of the bent, don't lose the white pearl clips because yeah, it's only like one bent wire. So actually my, um, princess, small lady, my small ladies, princess chibi moon, chibi usa, she's missing one of her little pearl things that I'm going to have to like remake. Now, this is the first time I've actually seen the box to be different. The Sailor Moon doll boxes are usually all the same, but the front and the sides of this box is actually ombre versus just like the entire box being like the solid dark blue. And yeah, she is so pretty. The light is drowning it out, but she does have peach on the underliner of her eye, which I've never seen. I love this color peach. And she has such a hyper feminine face up. And then the hairstyle, the earrings, the choker, the yellow. Yellow is the color of your solar plexus. And it, it is about your will your willpower and yeah this yellow skirt with the red she just looks like a true superhero in this version of her sailor suit her magical girl suit and yeah i haven't even finished i'm saving the last hour of sailor moon eternal because i just want to rewatch all of crystal <laughs> again and then i'll watch um, the last one Oh, the Wedding Sailor Moon and Tuxedo also have different boxes. <gasps> Tuxedo Taiyang would be really uh, cool to have. Honestly, I would love Tuxedo Taiyang. But I feel like now that I have like pretty much closed down my crystal store, my budget's pretty much run out. Um, it'll just be unboxing dolls that have been living in their boxes from now on. And... Yeah, basically just toy unboxings, reviews, um, some restyles. I don't think I'll have like a big pull up doll haul for a little while. And that's okay. I am so, so grateful that, um, and it's actually my friend Dylan that popped into this live. I don't know if you're still there, but yeah, that is working out an arrangement with some dolls and I, yeah, earlier, circling back, I just totally tangented. I was just, I was just feeling a type of way. My orders weren't coming in. It wasn't a priority to run the crystal business anymore. And I felt like I was kind of losing some purpose. And I have a YouTube coach who was saying, you know, you got to make this content, make this content. And I've been making it and making it. But it's not monetized yet. And it's fun. It's definitely fun. But I'm, I'm a family woman. I mean, I can't just be <laughs> in my head. The old pattern is like, you need to be working and earning a living every moment of every day. But I think that if you are doing what you love and throw out to the universe that you want to be compensated financially for that, and that maybe that doesn't mean um, like you need money for it, but you just want to be able to take care of your family, buy the things that you want to buy, and you just believe that you can um, do what you love and get there, then you know, it can happen. And then you just, you know, plant some seeds and you put some work in. Okay. So first things first. Aww. My boyfriend's mom's name is Bonnie. This is Paula Bonnie. Oh, sample sale. I, you know what? I did look and I was thinking of going. So JP Groove, if you didn't know, has sample sales, has um, dolls that are, uh, you know, 
that were at like display at a uh, convention that are at a fair price. And right now they also have outfits that are um, available. You don't get the doll, but you just get the outfit. Now, the one thing that attracted to me, attracted me to her was her lingerie outfit. So she's got this very sultry lingerie outfit and it must be just underneath her. Or is it like, was it just the garter? Garter, that's what's called, right? Garter? Underneath the dress? Oh my gosh. Her face up is also very, very soft. But I noticed this right away about her that really, really pulled me to her. And it's her lips. She's got uh, quite a bit of paint or lipstick more like here. So if we're comparing her lips, like they're just completely different lips here completely different lips. She's got pouty lips all across. I mean, she's much prettier than what I'm doing back here. And then she's got almost like pouty lower lip and then pouty lip under philatrum with a little smile at the end. Completely different lips. Same dull, completely different lips. Okay, the photos, the stock photos of this girl do not do her justice. She is so much cuter in person. Pull it, Merle. So her face up, there is baby purple here. Okay, she's got this brownish nude lip color, these dark blue eyes, and I swear she would look fantastic in an outfit that is <laughs> like she would look so cute with some pinks, some purples, just the style of her makeup, these dark blue eyes, the baby purple on the inner corner of her eye. I'm a thousand percent going to restyle her because her eyes just really pop and it's the eyeliner. She's got strong eyeliner all the way on the outside, not all the way around like pull up Uranus, but towards the outside. And I'm pretty much going to open probably all of these dolls eventually that I've been showing on my channel, but I probably will keep certain ones in their boxes. This Dal uh, Cherry Sweet that I have, she's just so pretty in her box and their bodies are not exactly the, you know, the sturdiest. And I just think her box is so lovely that I feel that she's probably going to end up um, living in her box for some time. So yeah, Merle is fantastic. Her box is Whispering Island model. I do have my little boy upstairs who I, end, I know I'm, I'm going to go. I'm already at 30 minutes. So I'm already over the half an hour that I usually allot for my lives. Ooh. But I do read manga with manga. 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 When I looked up the um, translation Google, the sound was like, manga. <laughs> it was so cute. Manga. So I do read manga with my manga with my kid every night. And uh, that, is, that is something that I have to get to. So I'm like promptly getting through this unboxing and I'll be able to like watch it back and like re-enjoy it. But I know tomorrow I'll just be like, I'm just going to bury myself in doll boxes. No, they have to be put away very carefully, of course. But yeah, um, so, so cute, right? And I actually have this uh, pump and purr and little like sequined headband that uh, the San Rio store gave away as a gift with purchase. So I'm going to match my little brother. I'm going to try and be a pump pum pour in pull up doll. And I'm going to try and match my little bro, my little bro. But yeah, this little plush is a little backpack. Totally forgot about that. And let's just take a moment here to look at the box box is so cute oh my goodness <laughs> don't you just die for Isol's face it is so adorable he's just got these big eyes <sighs> yeah 
Yeah, I love gazing into Isil's eyes. So yeah, there's like this star in his eye chips. I didn't even notice that. It looks like he's going to like, it looks like he's going to like pump pump poor in school. And then he's got like the little, what are those called? Br britches? The little britches around his thighs. They're like a leather belt. And then yeah, he's got um, in his eye chips. If you can see, let's go back to that magical angle. He's got these like, this like star print. But yeah, oh my gosh. I cannot wait. Golden blonde hair. He looks like a little European boy. He's so, so cute. So, so cute. Oh my goodness. I do have um, some Sanrio blind boxes that I have to unbox. And yeah, I am totally going to display him with another uh, Pum Pum Purin collectible. Wow, I am actually so glad that I decided to get her because I was back and forth. She actually was in my car and then out of my car and then she was in my car and then out of my car because I wanted to know, like, what was the story about Rose and Maiden? And Violet and I, we were talking about this because we were talking about the anime. So I actually, you know, sought out this manga and I read it. It's hilarious, and I really want the rest of them, but I just haven't been able to find them for a fair price. So I might even just end up getting the digital copies, which I don't really want to do. But basically, this boy is, he likes to buy these collectibles and then return them. I, it's its weird. There isn't a bunch of backstory on that. It's just a boy, um, and he's living with his sister. The parents are, like, not around. And then he orders this doll that comes to life. Oh, okay. So anime both are very, they're very similar and good, but um, the the manga is different. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you meant to write, the manga. But oh my goodness, the quality of this outfit is literally unparalleled. It's like kind of a, 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 a soft... It's almost like corded. What my girlfriend would know. My girlfriend's staying with us and she's super into fashion. But yeah, I, I was like, I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this. I feel like if I could just go like this. Don't focus on my face. I wanna look at her and show you guys her at the same time, but it keeps focusing on my face. So I just have to hide behind her. I feel like I want to unbox her right now <laughs> out of all of these dolls honestly is it the red the red is like <sighs> and then who is it glenda she also has a youtube channel with uh pull-up dolls an amazing um collection an amazing collection and she has an actual like whole rosen maiden oh and it doesn't even have like the english so i already forgot but yeah it doesn't have the actual because they all have different names but yeah, let me show you guys one page here. We we'll respect the artist. I won't show you too, too much. But um, she is so cute. And she's so mischievous in the manga. But let me see if I can find, like, a certain picture of her. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is her, like, coming alive out of the box. But yeah, I totally love this head bonnet thing her hair oh i hope she comes alive tonight please please somebody bring this doll to life tonight i really want her to just come and visit me <laughs> yeah the manga is really really good and um i don't it was like months ago that i read it now I'm trying to remember. She kind of like, he has to like help her. And then there was like this other doll that showed up through this mirror. And oh my gosh, I read so much manga and I just, I'll read it all in that moment. And then that kind of forget about what it was even all about right away. <laughs> I need to meditate. What happened to my meditation practice? Actually, I was thinking of doing like a meditate with your doll uh, type of video or a meditate with your plushie type of video. So, oh, some doll dolls. I have no idea who these are. Silver butterfly. I don't remember. <gasps> Yay! The purple doll of Tremend 
Bada Shishu is only Tromend because she's not supposed to be real or in the series for the old one, but the new version is completely wiped from my knowledge. Not an expert, but that's what I know. Quince. Yes, Quince, you're right. And I do have Lupinus. Um, she's over there past a bunch of dolls, so I will just like unbox them together one day. I actually really love uh, Lupinus in her box, and I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared to unbox her. But yeah, so, so, so cute. What I mostly fell in love with was the outfit. Somebody had taken a photo of Quince and Lupinus uh, in the woods in wintertime. And this photo was so magical that from the photo alone, I was like, I got to have her to be with her rival pull up. And yeah, so, so lovely. They are giving me Jane Austen vibes, but with a touch of whimsical, magical because of their eye chips. So maybe they're time travelers. What's their story? Right, Europe city setting, yes. So Montreal, Montreal in Canada um, is like very much like Europe and there's a few little areas in the city I might be able to get away with some good photos of it kind of mimicking that that very classic European infrastructure that um, is actually just still so prevalent, prevalent in all of Europe. There's so many, so many roads in Europe that are even still just like, like paved stones. And it's just very, very, je ne sais quoi, just authentic. And they don't have a, a lot of drive throughs in Europe. Like my girlfriend came here from the Europe side note tangent. She was so shocked by like Costco. And in one of my mangas, Costco was like this outing in the manga for this uh, group of friends because it was like the new, a new thing in Japan. And then we're in North America. I'm in North America. And it's like, yeah, let's go to this drive through Let's go to Costco. Everything's like boom, boom, boom. Wholesale. Just totally different vibes out here. And, and is it better? I don't know. That, that's a whole nother debate. I had a friend from Russia in my yoga teacher training when I was in India being like, you know, your American friends are always talking about TV. You're always talking about brands. And we don't talk about this stuff in Russia. We talk about art. And he's totally flexing. But hey. I got my little Isil Karos, a girlfriend. I cannot wait to photograph them together. Um, oh no, Karos, yeah, Karos, Frank, Frank Prince. I thought I had that, I thought I had that wrong. I thought I was noobing out and then saying something wrong there, but uh, I got it right. Yeah, uh, Korea is um, progressing, same with Japan, but I don't think there is a Costco yet in um in Europe. I think the first place that might even get a Costco would be like maybe Germany because I found Germany was giving me total North American vibes. I looked at so many pictures of her so I feel like I've already seen her and her face up is so cute. Oh my goodness. The pink with the teal eye chips. That's a really, really, really lovely combo. But this box, oh my gosh. I feel like these boxes are incredible color palettes for interior design. Like these boxes alone hold so much inspiration. Oh my gosh, we gotta get moving here. We gotta get moving. Whoa. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, warning, this girl's tits are out. <laughs> I'm totally not laughing at you. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Let me, I need to, uh, <laughs> she's like, it's not, she's like, it's not funny. Her memories are exposed. 
Okay, so I was back and forth, back and forth. Do I get the etoile, 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 etoile? Um, the version with the black hair, or do I get her, or the one with the black hair, or do I get her? And it was back and forth and back and forth. But then it really just came down to, um, like, the the garment. I really liked the lighter tones altogether. And, and she's giving me D Disney princess vibes, just the style of the dress and her overall. But what I really, really fell in love with was obviously the eye gems. Her eye chips are also very like glass-like and the eyebrows. They're kind of like this concerned, not sure, um, unsure expression. <laughs> Cut the camera, open and push it up, put it back and then go back. Yeah. Um, there we go. So you can see she's got the, the bell, not the bell sleeves, but she's got these really, really flamboyant sleeves. And they are so, so cute because they're like attached here at her arm. Just, are you okay with a quick little like flash or no, you're not okay with it. She's not okay with it. But you can see there that they're cuffed like that. And Actually, what I love about having different dolls is I just cracked open my sewing machine and uh, you can get inspiration for uh, making more pull-up doll garments. And I thought it was very daunting and I was really nervous about sewing stuff for a pull-up doll. But then I actually realized it's, it's, it's not so bad. You just take your time and, and it can actually get done. You just got to really take your time and just be patient with yourself. And of course, I'm not, it's not perfect. I'm an absolute beginner, but okay rosen team so here is another rosen maiden doll and oh my goodness this was also in that lost treasure section and i was just like i had total fomo with the lost treasure dolls i was just so worried that um you know i wasn't going to be able to get them and then when i did this like huge sale and i got rid of a lot of this stuff you know i had a pretty a good Etsy uh, amount so i was like okay i've got a i've got a budget here this is a bigger box here there was um one two three four five six seven eight dolls in this order and yeah i just could not pass up the fact that this doll reminds me of of someone that works at like a chocolate shop and I do love that um, 18th century type of look, that, that Renaissance or aristocratic doll uh, type of look that you, you would see on a porcelain doll, but then on pull-up, it's like, okay, yeah, let's have a look at this. And the green eye chips, they're really, Right? What is the name of this doll? I, I actually have it on my phone. I did take a, so let's just quickly segue over here because we're being bad pull-up doll collectors right now, remembering the name of this doll. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, angels, fairies, help me focus. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Shinku? No, that's the other. Oh, that's a different one. Oh, maybe I don't have the name saved here. Okay. Yeah, it's actually in um Korean or Japanese. It's like not there. The pink and the blue are similar, but three look really good together. Yes. The three, the three. Do you mean of a 12? Was there three versions? Oh, translated to Sparrow. Oh my gosh. Now I feel like we just got to. Okay, so what I was thinking was that I was like really not sure. What do you guys think? Like I'm actually really unsure about the eye chips. I, I don't know how I feel about the green eye chips. Not that the eye chips particularly have to match anything particularly with the face up or the makeup or the outfit, but I just don't know how I feel. Okay, so the Etoile that I got is the rosette version. And this is a crazy, okay, this is the reason why we didn't know the name. It's because this is the name. 
I have to type it out because I don't think I'm confident enough in pronouncing it. K Ku Jiaku. K Ku Jiaku. K Ku Jiaku. K Ku Jiaku. So that is why. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jinx! Yummy Coke. <laughs> um, that is why we could not think of the name. I honestly feel like a crazy person opening this doll box. I, it was like over at my boyfriend and I was thinking, okay, like, I'm so glad that you haven't um, decided to like leave me at or like, it's like a girl wanting to just suddenly have a collection of shoes. But he justifies it because I threw it all on my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, that's how <laughs> he's like, it's okay, honey, it's all an investment. I'm like, exactly, it's all an investment. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay. But yeah, you know what? The whole YouTube thing honestly totally started with Omocha Crush. Omocha Crash channel, and I was binge watching, and then I was like so inspired, and then I was sold. So all you future viewers out there, if you just somehow came across my channel and uh, you don't know about Omocha, Omocha Crush, um, I'm putting it in the chat. You'll be able to see that in the chat. If you don't know about this channel, you need to go and see this channel. There's still a lot of uh, pull-up doll posts I see in Reddit where people are like, where do I buy a pull-up doll? What pull-up doll should I get? And I'm like, I'm like, you have not watched her videos? I'm like, that, like, all that advice is up in her videos. Like, I was all over it. Okay, so we got Tai Yang's wig. Red wig. So, so good. And now we've got some exciting tissue. We got a blonde wavy bangs wig so i had those make it own and i also really love transition videos on tiktoks and i wanted to do more transition videos with my dolls so this is my last big haul so it'll be a lot of content making from here on out unboxing so oh yeah i'm so happy this i believe was also um a oh my gosh pardon me sorry you're gonna hear a bit of crinkly sounds from the uh, lost treasure section. Not to, is it Kakano? 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 But this uh, baby, the stars shine bright, which I didn't even know was this epic Lolita clothing brand. Wow. Oh my gosh. Regal. Yay! I feel like my angelic pretty doll now has a little friend and they can be together. And I love this name. It's La Robe Vert Blue Royale. But yeah, at first I was like, I don't know. The outfit is kind of seems a little, I don't know, just like not common. Maybe it's the fabric. And her face up is kind of simple, but that little crown on the corner of her head, so cute. Incredible. The other version, debated getting her, oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to unbox her and then you can, you know, maybe get an, an enforcement to see if you want to try and, and hunt her down. I know that probably in about five months, I will have to let go of a few dolls if I want to make room for new dolls. So that's something that I'm like just thinking about. And yeah, um, her crown is so adorable. But I will say from pictures, and I will say right now that the outfit is... I don't know how to label this, but it's... I don't want to say it, it looks like cheap. I, I'm not, I just feel like I figured it out. It's the size of the bows. 
they feel really big, like they're too big, maybe for where the arms are. Once she's out and breathing and we expand her arms, then maybe I can kind of see how the dress is and see how it, because I did see photos, but the photos that I saw of her, they weren't um, the greatest. So if I could get together some sort of um, Renaissance looking type background and then just really jazz up her photo, then maybe, yeah, we can see if the outfit might change a bit. But the one thing I like about her the most is definitely her hair color and that little crown on the top of her head. And then the style of her eyelashes, which I really want to study. You know, you can look at a face up on, on a screen, but just looking at the eyelashes and the eyeliner and how it flows over the groove of the eye is very, very useful for doing your own face ups. Okay, the final four. Here we go. Oh, yay. So my, do uh, my friend actually has um, Lala, the, the counterpart to this Isol. And, you know, when I was looking at them, I was like, okay, I really, really have a strong pull to Kiki. But for some reason, I just wasn't in love with the, I think for her, it's like the eye color. So the eye chip color and the, maybe if you look this up later, just like the color underneath the eye and then the eye chip color, I was kind of like, I don't know, I don't know. But it's funny because my girlfriend has her and unboxed her and I was like, she's so bratty. And she was like, what? I'm like, I can just totally see her being like, I want this now. <laughs> just having a really bratty <laughs> personality. The big bows are what kept me from, yes. I'm like, what is it? Because there was something about the outfit that was holding me back. But because it was in the lost treasure section, because she was in the lost treasure section, I had this FOMO and I had the budget. So I was like, okay, let's just do it. But I uh, really love her crown and, and maybe we'll restyle her and see, you know, maybe we'll cut the bows off and, and put on some gems or smaller bows. You know, there's things can happen. But yeah, so adorable. Oh my goodness. What I love about Isul as well is um, Isul is a little boy doll, but uh, there are such feminine attributes to Isul and, and it, it comes out being like balanced. It's like feminine, but still masculine, the vibe. And I think that males should be able to wear pastel colors and dresses and dress Lolita. And we shouldn't look at it as in like, anything other than them expressing, you know, like, oh, that person's a crush. It's just like, no, that person's just wearing what they want to wear. Like, well, like when girls dress like guys, do we say like, oh, well, that girl's a cross dresser and that girl's a lesbian? No, we don't. We're just like, oh, that girl's a tomboy. Right. So it's like, why can't we just say guys? Oh, well, that guy's like very feminine. He likes to dress femininely. And like, that's fine. We don't have to like associate it to orientation. Like that stuff really bugs me. Yeah, the human size outfit has those big bows. Yeah, right. They could have made it. Yeah, they could have made a smaller bows. I was actually looking for bows on AliExpress to like sew, and it's like really hard to find like small ribboned bows. They they just seem too big, like the actual size of them. We didn't even look at this girl from the other box. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I have this obsession with the traditional wear of yukata and just like these traditional Japanese prints. We actually had um, three Japanese exchange students at my house growing up and they would give me origami paper or like pencil cases that always had some sort of traditional print like this. And I just love fabrics with that print. I, I've never been to Japan. We're saving up for Japan right now. And I would love to just get my hands on some of this fabric or um, a traditional yukata for myself with a beautiful traditional floral print like this. And I've been reading Something's Wrong With Us manga, which is so good, by the way. And the main character, you know, it seems like it's set in olden times, but I'm not sure. But they're confectionery makers. Um, so they're in these very traditional settings where they're making traditional confectionaries. And there was this one 
uh, arc where they're going to this business that makes yukata and she's wearing this beautiful yukata and she's like, oh, it's so tight, but I really need to do well and I really need to impress this business that sells yukata with my traditional confectionaries. And she looks so pretty in it. And then the festivals and yeah, but what I mostly, mostly got her for was her, her face up. She's got a hyper womanly feminine face up her lips and her eye color. She is just very, very eye catching. Mixed together with her outfit, she is totally looking like a propri proprietress, the wife of a hotel owner, a traditional Japanese inn, and she is greeting all the guests with her magnetic beauty and bringing in all the repeat business because she is so friggin' fabulous. Yeah, so right now, like we were planning to go cherry blossom season next year, which gives us some time to save. But yeah, um, you heard correct. Japan is like soon opening. That's what I read too. I don't know for sure. But I do know that currently and just more recently, you could go to Japan, but people had to travel with um, like a tour group and you couldn't roam the country freely, which I feel like if you're a toy collector, that's just not going to work. Oh, okay. So these were also in the Lost um, Treasure section. And I actually ended up checking out my cart and I actually ended up messaging Mike and just being like, okay, I really, 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 really need to add these dolls to my order. We cannot forget about these dolls and they just, they need to get added because yeah, I, um, I need to have them together <laughs> in my head. I was like, I need to have these girls together. So first we will, okay, we'll save them for the last. We'll save them for the last. So 106, I'm doing okay. It's 807 and uh, he's probably going to be jumping in the shower soon. And uh, Mike Griffin is amazing. He's probably getting him ready for bed. So I actually was thinking, oh, this doll's kind of cheesy. Like the hair is kind of cheesy. That's actually what I thought. And then I looked at a bunch of photos of her on Instagram, but the garment really got to me. And there's something about her that's just very fairy tale like and very fun. So she was like last minute added to the order in a middle of the night email. I like checked out my cart. And then I sent this email to Mike to pull up style in the middle of the night. And I'm like, I, I have to add this doll and this other doll. So I was like sending a PayPal <laughs> and adding them to um, my order. So yeah, now that I see her in person, I, I do not regret uh, having her at all. It looks like her curls are kind of um, loose on the one side. But again, her garment is giving me that like traditional kind of uh, authentic European wear. And yeah, she's very, very, very cute. Very, very, very cute. The tights are polka dot and her shoes. Oh my gosh. Can you see those? They've got like little bows and they've got like little, the, the ankle straps have these little like rivets on them. It's just incredible. So yeah, I'm so excited because of my little spinny thing and I love showing the doll face up. So I'm gonna be showing every single one of these dolls in this video, their face up, every crevice of their outfit with as best lighting as possible, spinning around. Um, and I, the dolls just speak for themselves and I want to show every corner of all of these dolls to you guys in video format because they need to live forever in video format on the internet because they are so beautiful. And I just love close-up doll videos and doll content that is like close-up so I can see like every last little detail. But I also really love pull-up doll uh, photography and shout out to all the pull-up doll photographers who go out of their way to take all these epic photos. It's not easy. It's not easy getting the right scale. It's not easy getting the right quality, figuring out the concept and posing them, posing them or rebodying them to get the right pose. Yeah, so there's someone in the Mocha group that has over like 10 of her. I remember it. Amazing to see so many of them at one spot. What? Like 10? 
10 berry berries. Somebody had 10 berry berries. Percy couldn't afford that, but yeah, it's cool to see. What? Somebody? I need to see this. That's in the um, uh, Mocha Facebook group. Oh my gosh. I need to scroll. This is a thing. This We need to, everybody needs to go to the Mocha Crush Facebook group and we need to scroll until we find, is it a picture? What? Can you do that? Because I know that at Pillip Style, you can only buy two max. But I guess if you're getting them from JP Groove and all these other stores. Okay, that's that's devotion. That's de You'll send it to me? Oh, yay. I love your messages. They are the best messages. Okay, so last but definitely not least, the very last two dolls of this crazy, amazing haul. <sighs> you know, I, I think I'm getting better. It's, it, it's not easy. Um, I do have, like, this mirrorless camera that is, like, decent quality. And I've been, like, learning more about editing photos on my phone app. Um, I use this app, Me Too. I'm going to, like, type it. And I find that um, this app is just, like, very easy, user-friendly and in-shot. It's what I mostly use to actually, like, film all my videos and edit all my videos as well. But, yeah, pull up doll. <laughs> and it's funny because you'll take a bunch of pictures and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, nailed it. I'm such a good doll photographer. And then you go back and you're like, oh, her hair, her outfit. <laughs> and there's like all these little things that you had missed. Um, and then there's some pull up doll photographers who are like flexing in their bio, their uh, photography equipment. And I'm like, that is so adorable. Like how adorable are you to be flexing your, like your camera equipment and your bio because your doll photos are like epic. And this hobby that you have of taking doll photos is like some top notch shit because you have some crazy expensive, awesome camera. And then you've learned how to use the camera and then you've learned your Photoshop skills and you're just like yeah I got this camera I got these photoshop skills and I think it's pretty cute too when people like flex the amount of dolls they have in their bio and they're like yeah man I work so hard for these dolls and I always feel kind of like oh my gosh like oh, there's there so many there's so many but you know it was definitely blood sweat and tears literally um to to get a haul of this magnitude and uh, I was packing 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 crystals, packing crystals, marketing crystals, marketing. <laughs> I was like, okay, I want this doll. Okay, how much money do I need to get this doll? Okay, you know, messaging people, being like, oh, hey, I'm closing down my store, by the way, if you want to come check it out. You know, you're my old customer, so I'm going to give you 60. And I had 80 pages of, of sales. Um, and I was messaging each customer individually, inviting them to come and shop because I was trying to raise uh, this doll money. So it was like, long, long hours. And, uh, I only have a certain amount of hours during the day because my kid is at school. So I would pack and I would do marketing during the day from about nine to two o'clock. And some, it was, it's probably not the healthiest. So I was like, forget my lunch, like actually crazy. And then, um, you know, I'd be with him, we'd be doing lessons and like all this stuff. And then suddenly, you know, I'd look at the clock and I was like, okay, he's got to go to bed. And then the second he falls asleep, I'm like back at it. I'm like, back trying to like raise a little bit more doll money and then I'm on pull-up style I'm like ah oh. I'm like looking at all these pull-up doll photos on Instagram I'm like oh my god amazing and then I'm watching an emotion crush video I'm talking to Violetta I'm like oh my god this doll oh my god. It's like, uh, it just quickly became like a drug it was just a drug trying to get these dolls and uh, being watching these doll um video um videos on youtube and yeah i'm watching uh, looking and liking at all these doll uh, pictures but yeah pixar i love your photos with the like a uh, little like it's very it reminds me of like you go to that did you did anybody ever go to those photo booths they had a photo booth at the sanrio store that they closed down in my city it wasn't a sanrio store it was like a store that imported sanrio goods and they had this huge photo booth you could fit like four girls in it and there was like these little sticker pictures and you could put a border around it with like all these hearts and, like all these stars and it was actually really cheap it was only like eight dollars and it came with like one two three four five six seven 16, 16 stickers and they were just, they were so small. They were like this big and you'd put them on the back of your phone and then you buy like a keychain there and like put in, it was just like your little portal to Japan in my little city of like, uh, you know, 1.5 million people. There's probably like a, a million people at the time. That was literally 
like 15. So I'm 32 now. And I was like 13 when I was going there. So yeah, that was like over 15 years ago that I was in this photo booth at this Japanese import store. Yeah, yeah. There is some Sanrio stickers on the May 2 app, but uh, I have to upgrade and pay for it. And I think I might even just do it because like there's some really cool fonts that I want to try out. But yeah, um, another shout out before I end this video and show you my last two dolls from this haul. My girlfriend, Glass Angel Jewelry, she made this by hand. She's got this total um, like kawaii, uh, ulu, uh, jewelry thing going on she's got a heart of gold she's an amazing singer she's an amazing pianist and i just love having her jewelry just for like who she is but it's very good quality it's very sturdy and uh, it's super girly and she actually is now making pull-up doll uh beaded headbands and they're really 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 dope okay so without further ado da 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 And here are the final two. I don't even my face is not my face is not even important. I I literally put on this wig and I did this makeup because I filmed this like Barbie thing earlier today and I just wanted to my my coach said, you know, if you dress up it can keep people's attention. So I was like Okay, let's do it. Let's dress up. But I'm, I'm normally pretty vanilla. And yeah, we've got the Kiyomi twins. This one on the left is mint ice cream version. And this is the original version, I believe. But yeah, uh, they had one of them in stock. And then the other one was in the Lost Treasure section. And I wasn't sure how many they had left. And then I was like looking them up on eBay and like looking up their price. And I was just like, okay, they're a retail price at Flip Style. So I got to just, I got to just do it. I got to just like bite the bullet and, and just do it and, and add them to the order. And I wasn't sure about like the headgear. I was like, oh, the headgear is like, but then I was looking at the rest of their outfits and I was like, okay, uh, there's something about the mint version that's better than the original. Yeah. Is it like the pink and the purple really pop, I think. So there's blue trimming, blue pom-pom, pink blouse, purple over blouse or, or vest. And then this one is kind of losing um, a little bit of that contrast. Now the eyelash, <laughs> they're going to need new eyelashes because their eyelashes are like totally trapped. Can you see that? Like underneath the removal plastic band. But the thing is about these, I can only hold up the one. So let's just start with her. The thing is, is about the, um, the headpiece is like, <laughs> is it just me or does this fabric kind of like look like carpet? <laughs> <laughs> It's just kind of like, I feel like the, that is the fabric that you would use for like the interior of a jacket, but not the exterior. Now, the yellow is the same fabric. Um, and it looks so soft and it looks so cuddly. But there's something about the texture of it. I just wish it was ever so slightly different or maybe just like a true plush. But maybe just the poofiness of it because like obviously if they had made it like kind of like this fabric it, it it might not be as sturdy I don't know I don't know much about plush fabrics but um yeah the, the the head thing was throwing me off but then the fact that there was the two of them available at retail price and then their outfits I just thought they were so 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 cute and I thought okay we've got to bite the bullet here now they've cut these little slippers Da da da, mint version, but maybe when I can make a full on space for my cute themed dolls. Yes! But personally, it's just like that all of the premium line basically recolor of some dolls. Yeah, have that. Yeah! <laughs> right? Okay. You called that because I was like, do I have this doll already? Totally. So, hey, premium line basically recolor of some dolls. So, this is true because there's um, Nanette Erica, 
who has this doll box color. Right? I'm like, why? I mean, you put all this effort into producing a doll, but is that like a thing? Like maybe they wanted to streamline that and brand that with this doll box color. But I mean, you look at this doll box and then you look at like, let's grab like a crazy one. This one. This one is so dope. But yeah, Nanette Erica, which is basically the Crimson Veritas. But Crimson Veritas, I don't have her doll box. I got her for $100 on eBay. She had all her original stock in her stand and her card, but she didn't have her doll box. Monochrome Alice, they all have this color box. Crimson Veritas, thank you, Pull Up KK. Monochrome Alice, Kiyomi Mint version, Nanette Erica are all coming in this generic ombre colored box. Now it's cute, but we want to see. We want to see more doll boxes in different colors. And even some of the limited Mocha Veritas were put into some of those premium doll boxes. But even those, she had a designed box. Oh, so yeah, it's not even streamlined to be that. I, that's not even intentional. I don't think it's intentional. But I think there are maybe are a lot of things that aren't intentional. And uh, I don't know how many people they have on their uh, production team or their sales team to decide, okay, this... Because, you know, at the end of the day, it can be like business too, right? And it's like you want to reproduce what sells, but you want it to like be like different. So, for example, if like rose quartz is getting really popular, then I'm like, okay, maybe we want to get rose quartz in different shapes. So that, I always wonder too, is like that just also, is it just like a business strategy where it's not like, oh, we really loved Kiyomi. It's like the customers loved Kiyomi. So we're going to make another Kiyomi and we're going to go and study what some of the results and feedback were on Instagram, YouTube, and then we're going to change her up. But yeah, I didn't show you guys her close up. So my Ellie monochrome Alice came in that box too. Oh, see, like ugh, monochrome Alice is like a grail doll. And like, why would you not give that doll an epic different box that is like that doll's like kind of like grayish and blue? Correct me if I'm wrong. Why wouldn't you give that doll like a grayish and blue box? Oh, one hour and 22 minutes. Wow, I'm surprised. I actually am a little bit of my, my boyfriend calls me a chatty Kathy and my girlfriend's a chatty Kathy too. So we've been chatting up a storm uh, all day long, but this was, yeah, so, so amazing. And I can't wait to um, unbox all of these dolls. Uh, there are like a few dolls that I want to leave in their boxes, but I kind of also have a feeling that I might even unbox every single doll. Uh, that I have because I really, really do want to document them out of box, uh, you know, on like my little spinny thing and to show like every detail and crevice of the doll um, just to the world because it's a, such a beautiful experience to unbox a doll and to admire a doll's beauty. And uh, it, it might be sad for them to live in a box their whole life. They, they could get very, very depressed. Technically, Le Monochrome Alice, similar to Mocha Severitas, had a limited box with an outfit, backdrops, and so much, but then also be in those boxes without the accessories. So yeah, that's like kind of an epic fail. Like you don't, but she's she's basically got the same things as her original doll, as the original doll. I'm so sorry. <gasps> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, they both have like a little headband, a head thing, hoodies. Okay. Pretty much all the same stuff. But yeah, like look at how, just like these little extra things that make it so special. And then it's like the generic box. So it must be a production thing. Like, okay, we're just going to reproduce this doll because we need to make a little bit more money, but we're not going to like, we don't have time to like make a new doll box. And, uh, you know, I can kind of, I can kind of get that. I can kind of relate to that. So yeah, mine wasn't the original LE release. I got mine through Groove's Rare Choice a couple years ago. Ooh, Groove's Rare Choice. Ooh, <laughs> no, I cannot go. I actually did want to get the um, Asuna um, outfit though. Um, my son really likes Sword Art Online. I watched a few episodes, actually really enjoyed it as well. But I felt like the action scenes um, 
and a little bit of the banter was uh, more directed to youth. And I do like adult anime because it's just like funny. There's adult jokes and adult content. So on a side note, if you feel like watching a new anime, I highly, highly recommend The Misfit of Demon King Academy. I will leave you with that. And thank you so much, uh, Dylan, Pulip, KK, Byla Dolls. I think it was like just us in this live, but just a shout out to you guys because I'm a totally, uh, like I'm still a doll new, really, but I totally just went neurotic and I've always had an addictive uh, personality and uh, my doctor told me that I might have a bit of schizophrenia. Um, I think that faded away when I did lots of yoga, but I guess it like was a catalyst when I had my postpartum psychosis. And I think that's why maybe I can like talk so fast, but um, having these dolls have just really given me um, a different purpose. Cause I felt like, yeah, I was an Amazon worker for the crystal store for a bit. And then also it was getting like, some nights are like really heavy with my um, exotic dancer job. So it's really nice just having something to remind me of my youth. And it's nice to have a community. Uh, I know we haven't met in the flesh, but I just feel so, so privileged and so, so grateful to chat with you guys about dolls because it's all about dolls. It's all about dolls, dolls, dolls. That was my Igret Suko moment there. And I am off to go back to my mom land and rejoin this doll land after my child goes to sleep. So yeah, let's keep chatting about dolls on the other social media platforms. And to the future uh, viewers of this live stream, thank you so much. If you made it all the way to the end, congratulations. Please drop a comment below to help push this video farther to help my algorithm. Tell me what your favorite dolls are. I am learning about new pull-up dolls every single day. Every single day I learn about new pull-up dolls and it is so amazing. I love it. And yeah, I want to chat with you. I want to be friends with you. And thank you so much, you too. And enjoy playing with your dolls this week. Breathe well. Breathe deep. Yes, bye. Have a great rest of your night as well. And yeah, just like enjoy those doll moments. There's been some doll moments that, you know, I've just like had to really be present in and enjoy and like not record anything because yeah, uh, it, it's good to just uh, be in the present moment. And they, they, they do say that a camera can kind of like capture spiritual energy. And it might be mythological, it might be just metaphysical, but I feel like I can feel that sometimes, so. There you are. I was like waiting for it. There's like a leg. So I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm waiting for like an exit um, message from you there. So, oh, you know what? Like, what is it? <laughs> it's like a thing that all the like young people are like doing, but I, I it's like a heart. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to make it, but I, I just, sorry. Sorry. See you guys next Thursday. Have a great night.